The tibia nail system is used for proximal tibia fractures, shaft fractures, and oblique fractures. The nail is made of titanium alloy material with the proximal side anatomic bend at an angle of minus 9 degrees. For easy insertion into the bone, and consists of four proximal and four distal screw holes. The screw hole is a semi-locking hole mechanism to prevent loosening, enabling more stable treatment. Position the patient in the supine on the table for surgery and secure the knee of the surgical site properly. Make a two centimeter incision in the treatment area on the proximal tibia and check the guide pin insertion position. Insert the instrument with the combination of protection sleeve, drill sleeve, and trocar into the incision to position the guide pin to be inserted. Remove the trocar and insert the guide pin combined with the electronic drill or guide pin holder into the appropriate location. Remove the drill sleeve and insert the open reamer along the guide pin to drill until the head of the reamer reaches the proper position. Then remove the open reamer and guide pin in turn. Alternatively, opening the medullary canal may be performed using a cannulated curved awl or a primary awl. Insert the reaming rod with the ball tip to the desired depth. Using a flexible reamer shaft, reaming is carried out along the reaming rod to the desired size by starting with an 8.0 mm reamer head and increasing by 0.5 mm. And the reaming rod with the ball tip is not removed even after reaming is completed. Prepare a nail of appropriate length and combine it with the assemble handle with an assemble bolt. When the nail and assemble handle are combined, insert the nail along the reaming rod. Attach the impact handle to the assemble handle as necessary. Use light, controlled hammer blows to seat the nail. Insert it into the desired position and finish. Check the nail endpoints of the nail with the barrel gauge of the assemble handle marked 5 mm apart. When the insertion is complete, remove the reaming rod. Assemble the proximal target device on the assembly handle. Determine the fracture shape and attach the lateral target device to the left or right side. A protection sleeve can be inserted in the cross direction through the proximal target device and also a protection sleeve can be inserted in the horizontal direction with the lateral target device, depending on the type of fracture and the doctor's decision. Insert the guide pin into the nail end point targeting. Align it with the tip of the nail and check the depth of the nail. Remove the trocar from the combination of protection sleeve, drill sleeve and trocar. Then drill until the drill bit penetrates both cortex and measure the depth with the depth gauge to determine the length of the screw. Using a screwdriver, Insert the locking screw through the protection sleeve. Insert the remaining locking screws in the same way to complete the proximal part procedure. The distal screws tightening is carried out using a freehand technique. Using a freehand drill guide, drill into the center of the screw hole. Check the depth with the depth gauge and insert the locking screw. Attach the selected end cap to the end cap driver and rotate the coupling screw inserted into the driver to fasten the end cap to the driver. Insert the fixed end cap into the top of the nail to tighten. When the end cap is secured on the nail, release the coupling screw and remove it from the driver to complete the procedure.